I'd like to walk through a new feature in Magnet Axiom Cyber 6.8 that you can leverage for remote collections from Windows, Mac OS, or Linux endpoints. Previously, the target system was identified and information such as the operating system and IP address were provided to create and deploy an agent. Once deployed on the remote computer, Axiom Cyber would connect to the agent and then you could select the data you were interested in collecting from that computer. With Axiom Cyber 6.8, examiners have the option to add endpoints manually as part of a collection. This means you can create a placeholder agent for later use and manually define the collection before that agent comes online. Once the endpoint comes online and has the agent installed, the acquisition can begin. Manually adding an endpoint can be performed as part of the acquisition of a single endpoint or as part of a queued collection with multiple endpoints. While there are a variety of use cases for this, let's walk through the process to see what it looks like. In Axiom Process, once entering the case details and moving to the Evidence Sources screen, select Remote Computer as your evidence source. This will bring you to the Manage Agents and Endpoints screen that can be used to create and deploy new agents or to access previously deployed agents and connect to them on remote computers. In this example, we'll create a new agent, provide a name, and select the operating system of our target computer from the drop-down menu, in this example, Windows. Other required pieces of information include the IP address that we're running Axiom Cyber from, as well as the port we'd like to listen on. For this example, I'll just use my own loopback address and provide a port number, and then create the agent. Now with prior versions of Axiom Cyber, we would choose the option to deploy an agent, and we would provide the IP address, username, password, and desired location for the acquisition agent on that machine. However, with Axiom Cyber 6.8 and manually adding endpoints, we have some other options. I'll back up and return to the Manage Agents and Endpoints screen. Once an agent has been created for the appropriate target operating system and the details for the computer where we are running Axiom Cyber to perform the collection have been provided, we can select the option to add endpoint manually above our endpoints table. The Add Endpoint Manually dialog window appears, and we simply provide the host name or IP address of our target computer and select which of the previously created acquisition agents we'd like to use for this collection. I'll provide the host name of a target computer in this example using the Windows Remote agent that we created earlier. I'll select Add Endpoint, and we're again returned to the Manage Agents and Endpoints screen. In the Endpoint table in the lower portion of the screen, we can see the newly added host name listed under the Windows Remote Agent. We also see the agent status for this particular system is offline. As with earlier versions of Axiom Cyber, once that agent has been deployed on the remote system and is running, the agent status will show as online in the Endpoints table, and we would also see its currently assigned IP address. From the Endpoints table, we could then select that target computer and make choices about the data we'd like to collect from that system. With Axiom Cyber 6.8 and adding endpoints manually, we can also hover over this entry and select the option to connect to endpoint, even without the agent being deployed. From the Select Connection Settings window, we can enable data compression and the option to begin downloading file system structure and folder metadata once a connection is established. Even without the connection established or without the agent deployed, as we have in this case, I could still choose the option Connect to Agent and begin selecting items from the targeted locations in Axiom Cyber. As a reminder, these targeted locations vary based on the operating system selected when you created the agent. This one is for Windows, so the items listed here are what you would expect for versions of the Windows operating system. Alternatively, if we had selected Mac OS or Linux when creating the agent, the items listed here would be unique to those operating systems. Even without the agent deployed or a connection established, I could make some decisions about the investigation I'm currently tasked with. Let's say we have an incident where a user downloaded a malicious email attachment. We've already determined that for patient zero, the attachment was saved to the user's downloads folder, a process ran, and established a network connection calling to a suspected command and control server and created exceptions in the host firewall. I may now want to deploy agents to a number of endpoints to check for downloads by other users or to look for lateral movement in the organization. To streamline the efforts in this investigation and to hone in on other potentially compromised systems, I may choose to leverage the targeted locations feature of Axiom Cyber to determine if there are other systems exhibiting similar behaviors. With this example, I could begin by selecting items in the user's downloads folders, and I could go down and expand volatile artifacts and select things like active connections, firewall rules, and processes. 
We could even use the Manage Profiles link to create a profile of these specific targeted locations artifacts for use on other endpoints we'd like to collect data from in this investigation. By taking such a focused approach, this could really help to speed up the initial identification of other potentially compromised endpoints in the organization, and our time to evidence is greatly reduced. As can be seen here, even when the agent has not been deployed and we're not currently connected to the target computer, we still have the ability to choose which of the targeted location artifacts to acquire. I hope you found this short walkthrough of manually adding endpoints in Magnet Axiom Cyber 6.8 helpful. This is an exciting new feature with a variety of use cases. Thanks for watching.